ICT industry has remained one of the most dynamic sectors in today's world, making it one of the most talked about two experts at the two day workshop organized for Nigerian journalists on tech reporting underscored the need for insightful and educative reporting of the sector. Technology is changing everything, and there's no denying that fact. And for those of you who are journalists, I probably wouldn't see you continue to work for the same newspaper year in, year out. You probably will have opportunity sometime in the future to be doing something for yourself. So it's important to take this lesson. So if at any point in time that you want to probably be self-employed, you already have a platform for you. People know you as a good journalist, as a good ISIS journalist. And so, if you have a blog, a blog for instance, people may want to go there to get information. So I think this is really for us to know that the world is changing. Journalism begs to inform, to entertain, to serve the public good, and amplify the voice of the people. More importantly, it acts as a watchdog. What does journalists do? We gather, we select, we produce, we distribute, and we interpret information. Journalism has become too way aided by social media. We talk, they listen, they comment. That's the new, journal, uh, the new journalism. And so social media has provided many new ways for journalists to receive information as well as to send it. Opportunities offered by the new media were one of the key areas of focus as three of the facilitators took different times to teach on related topics on the new media. The journalists, many of whom operate the traditional media, argue that the digital media such as blog and the social media are not as effective in dissemination of news as the traditional media. So when are we going to begin to enjoy some of these uh, benefits of uh, share size and that we are active with our, with our I also want to know from the part of the regulator. If the regulator is comfortable with the kind of quality of service we get from uh, internet uh, providers in Nigeria. And with regards to the mobile number portability, can you also say confidently that that initiative meant what it was intended for? But their arguments were relaxed after listening to analysis and reports of how many readers visit some of the notable blogs in Nigeria and how this translates to huge revenues for these bloggers who do not even have journalistic trainings. I've learned that um, we have to break down some technical terms for our, for our readers. You know, most of them don't have the time to go back to the dictionary and start checking these things. They have to know the importance of what we are writing so that it will make more sense to them. And also I've learned um, to be more analytical in my reports. It's been incredible knowing how and being f brought to um, pace, um, if I may say, on how to use the social media to better your reportage. That is... Um, is a tool, a necessary tool, or you miss out in the present day um, media. And I also got um, more of a worrisome thing about the IT cybersecurity policy that is still not being passed. And we're talking about developing Nigeria's broadband, we're talking about higher penetration, internet penetration, and yet we don't have a cyber crime policy in place. That is really, for me, um, something of concern. I've learned one thing that you don't waste your time on social media. You should be selective when it comes to you going online to publish or send your stories because for you, you don't know that you are wasting time. You have other things to do and socializing on the online consume time. From this workshop, journalists rose with a better understanding of how they can report the telecom sector better and how they can use new media tools to reach a wider audience and earn better revenues. I am Francisca Nana reporting. That you can say you didn't learn anything. It is very, very important that, uh, especially in the media uh, sector, that will keep 
retraining ourselves. It's a very big issue within the media that um, a lot of us don't create that time. We always feel that we are very busy. So at the end of the day, we are not empowering ourselves beyond what we learn from school. But it's supposed to be a continuous exercise so that you also know what is happening elsewhere. Learn from your colleagues and things like that. So there's always something new to learn because you may be thinking that this thing I'm doing is right only for you to discover that you are doing it the wrong way.